Hi, hello, welcome, welcome to the Chan Chan. So today I'm gonna do a video that's a little different than something that I normally would do. I've been editing for like 15 years now, okay? Don't ask my age, don't Ooh. question it, like we don't gotta talk about it. And I'm really good at adapting to editing styles that people want, so like I think I can conjure something up to show y'all. So today that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna teach you guys how to edit like popular YouTubers. <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys how to edit in Final Cut Pro X. You could honestly use these tips to edit in any editing software. I've noticed that they're pretty much all the same. With the exception, I've never edited in Adobe, like Premiere Pro. It's too much, okay? I, anything Adobe is like so complicated. So at the time. But for the most part, it's cut, move, at Pretty self-explanatory. I think CapCut, the controls are a little different, but it's the same concept. So step one, you need your footage, okay? When you're editing, you kind of want to add pauses. So let's say you make a statement and then you pause and make a face or something. So let's say you make a statement and then you pause and make a face so that way that you can add like some sound effects or whatever. Hopefully I'm explaining this right. So for example, I could say something Something like, I like the color pink. Okay? And then within those pauses, you add sound effects. So it'd be like, I like the color pink. Oh, excuse me? Except that's not really funny. So, you know, you have to say something that's like funny or something that fits with the sound effects. But this is just an example. Once you have your footage, we're gonna go into Final Cut Pro X and we're gonna start editing. Okay? So let's like. Let's, let's transition. All right, so here we are, here we is. Um, we're in Final Cut Pro X. This is what the interface looks like. So first thing you wanna do is import your media and go to wherever it would be. If you guys want a more in-depth like explanation of importing and all that fun stuff, I can do that, just let me know. Um, I'm just gonna leave this untitled project because it doesn't matter what we name it. So once you have it here, and it's imported. You wanna click and drag it and drop it into your timeline. Oh, you can't even see my timeline in OBS. Let me shrink this. You can't even, you couldn't even see that. That is, that's so awkward. That is, that's really awkward. Okay, so your timeline is all of this right here. This is your timeline. That's where all the editing's gonna happen. That's where you are seeing what you're doing. And then up here is like the video. So it'll it'll play up there. Right over here is all your imported media. I, I can't believe that I just, can't believe you guys couldn't see that, okay? Okay, so when I do the rough cut, I'm gonna basically be cutting anywhere that there are pauses. So I like to do this first and then I can see like what I'm doing. And I like to keep things that could be funny. So anything I kind of planned out in the video that I was like a pause here or there that I want to keep is what I'm going to keep. So let's do that real quick. So see how there's a funny pause here, but then I go off and I do something else. So I'm going to cut right here because I don't need this little excess piece. And then once I add a sound effect, what it'll be funny. Doing? My computer, it's freezing. My computer! I love My computer, it's freezing! So I'm gonna keep this um because I plan on like zooming it in and then being like, um, zoom out. Hopefully that makes sense. So here's our rough cut. This is what we got. And so now we're gonna need to add sound effects. And so I really like to get a lot of my sound effects from this one website. It's called Voice Mod. I'm gonna link it down below. This is where I've been getting all my sound effects from. And you basically can search up anything. You can search up any sound effect, like the Vine Boom sound effect, for example. And it has different ones or if you just want the regular one. So I already have a folder and it has a million, like not a million, but like a lot, okay? I have a lot of sound effects already saved. So I'm just gonna use some that I already have. So if it'll load, that would be nice. So I think here, I'm not gonna add anything, but. Wow! I think here I'm gonna transform it. So to transform, you hit this right here. I'm gonna make it bigger 
kind of center it. And I think we'll add the Twitter sound effect. I think the Twitter sound effect would be really funny. And then I'm going to lower that so that sound on the actual video and only leave it so you can only hear the Twitter sound effect so it'll look like this. Wow! What? <laughs> and he's oh. like, that was kind of funny. Maybe it's more funny in my head, but like, you understand? Oh. What are you doing? And so when my son's doing this to me and pulling my hair, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and then I'm gonna add something called the earthquake sound effect, or not sound effect, it's like a video effect. And then I'm gonna change the color on this to red. And I'm gonna make the earthquake go like crazy. So for the amount, I'm gonna turn it up. Probably like 47. What are you doing? Yeah. And then I'm gonna do the vine triggered sound effect under that. So the way you find sound effects is literally kind of just by exploring. Kind of just by exploring. So I think the vine triggered sound effect. What are you doing? I look at yeah, that to me that's kind of funny. I look insane. Can you fix it? And then for background music, you can add things like this one is my favorite. It's from the YouTube audio library. It's called Marty's Got a Plan by Kevin MacLeod. And Kevin MacLeod has a lot of good of those like suspicious sound effects. So I tend to gravitate towards his a lot more. I look at the Can you fix this? Can you fix my hair? Or is it unfixable? Then I'm gonna zoom in on this clip that I do after the suspicious music, and I'm gonna add the SpongeBob like boom sound effect. And I think that would be like really funny too. Or should I do bonk? We'll do. No, I like the bomb sound effect. That one's like my favorite. Yeah, we're gonna do that one. Okay. And see how the sound effects is shorter than this video's clip? So all I'm gonna do is cut it and delete the excess amount. Like there's no reason for me to keep it, so I'm gonna delete it. That we don't need. Uh, we don't need. I can't touch that. Uh -huh. the, so you just kind of do the same things. You do the same things. I think here, I don't know what to add. I don't know. I think maybe the Roblox sound effects would be a good one. Ah, why isn't it shortening? And then same thing. The Roblox sound effects is shorter than what I need it to be, so I'm gonna cut it. You can't touch that. You can't touch that. I look. <laughs> and then something else I really like to do is if I'm talking and I say something like, I look insane. I'll zoom in on myself when I say like insane and then I'll add a sound effect. So for that one, we're gonna use the Vine Boom sound effect. I love the Vine Boom sound effect. I probably like overuse it times a million. And so let's play this and see how it looks. Wow! What are you doing? I look insane. Can we fix this? Can we fix my hair? Or are you not fixable? You can't touch that. You can't touch that. I look insane. And then here I think I'm going to do a transform. So I don't know what these little diamonds are called, but I add a diamond. I play. I zoom in and move it and then I move it some more and zoom it and for this one I'm gonna add a swish sound effect so I use these like fully fully whip it's like a fully whip or something like that let's see I might need to zoom a little And then I'll add another one. Let's see. No, we're gonna need to move that down. And you kind of just move the sound effects with what you're doing. Oh, I did it wrong. Yeah, I think that's fine. We need to 
Okay, and then I'm gonna reset that because it just I I don't need that in there. So that's basically what you do. That's basically the gist of it. So these are kind of the basics of tips you can do when you're editing. Any pauses, add in as many sound effects as you can, do lots of cuts because that's what's gonna keep the energy flowing and the energy moving. It also helps to keep people's attention spans. If you guys have any questions, be sure to leave them down below in the comments. And if you found this video helpful, then be sure to give it a thumbs up. And here is what the video came out looking like. Wow! What are you doing? I look insane. Can we fix this? Can we fix my hair or is it unfixable? You can't touch that. You can't touch that. I look insane. So this is gonna be the raw footage that we are gonna edit. Um, so talking, 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 blah di da di da. Yeah! Oh yeah.